Hello everybody, I am here today with a very different version of Bhagavad Gita that I had bought from Etsy a while ago. This is how it came in this box with this om on um, and this is hand bound, in fact hand stitched inside, there, these are the, it's hand bound and hand stitched and Look at the painting here. This is the Bhagavad Gita, the Song Celestial. When you hear the words, the Song Celestial, it's uh, it's a pretty famous version, which is by Mr. Edwin, Sir Edwin Arnold. This is a famous version uh, that I know only because there used to be a smaller version of this at my house, in, in my old house. I'm not sure who picked it up. I think my uncle or somebody took it. It used to lie around in the house, which I assumed was my granddad's. This version uh, that I saw, I don't know what caught my eye. I just ordered it because it said something vintage, I think. I just ordered it. Now, before I went into this Gita version, I want you to have a very open mind for a second. This is not my study Gita. I will not study Gita from this. This is not meant for that. The reason is I I don't I don't uh, look down upon people from uh, other countries writing commentaries on Gita. That's not my approach. I take everything that comes with anything good in it. So, that being said, this is not my Gita, study Gita because this is meant to be a poem. The translations are poetic. It's very beautiful. It is for you to enjoy rather than learn. So, which one will you go to learn Gita? Definitely one of Prabhupada's books or Gambirananda, Swami Gambirananda from Ramakrishna Mat, which is the Shankara's version. Uh, everybody very commonly available is the Shankara's uh, version. Shankaracharya's, Adi Shankaracharya's uh, translations. That is the common one that is used for learning. It, it, it is learnt in the light of Advaita Vedanta. If you are particular about those philosophies and do not want to subscribe to Advaita Vedanta, yes, the study needs to happen from uh, Ramanuja Acharya's commentary. And there's also one from Madhusudan Saraswati. And then I've also mentioned in my channel about Tatva Vivechani, which is from uh, Gita Press. Gita Press, Korakpur, Gitas are very good. They are Vishishta Advaita. It doesn't matter. They are actually very good for study. It it it's amazing in the in the sense that it has detailed purports, it has word by word meaning everything you want to learn the verses deep. That's where you go to, not this. This was just a reader's uh, paradise, so to speak. I just like literature. Before I got into spiritual uh, spirituality in general, I would read a lot of poetry. I love poetic form of anything. I am a fan of um, many languages poetry. I, I would, I, you know, Kabir's Doha, for example. They are beautiful works of art. Only in two, two lines, the deepest things were being said. In this, I would just, I thought I would say a few things, read them aloud, so you know what I mean. Let's start with the pictures. The pictures are illustrated by paintings by YG Srimati. These are just amazing. They look like, I'm, I'm, I'm not an art expert, they look like a very ethnic art maybe madhubani or some style like that each chapter I, I bookmarked it for you in fact i wanted to highlight some of these uh, but look at the pristine nature of this book it's just so beautiful and it even smells good so i didn't want to do any markings or highlight on a beautiful book like this so i did not so let's just talk about the paintings first this is the first painting and there are paintings in between in each chapter so the first painting, there's one more where the entire Gita starts, the famous um, Arjuna on the chariot, Krishna 
and the, both the armies on both the sides with all the gods watching that painting is here and then you have this and let's see we have this one i'm showing it to you because i i hope you see it's beauty it's just amazing it's beautiful and then let's see uh this one for dhyana yoga i think that she's doing dhyana and let's see this one and i think i missed one i missed many actually this is for i think with buddhi yoga i think it's the god in many forms it's just amazing stunning stunning artwork in this one and then there's one where krishna was holding something krishna was holding the earth here this is the one krishna holding the earth and this one is where vishnu is on the top and this this iconography is also in mahabharat where the trees and the root and everything is explained i think it is from that i i haven't paid much attention to say what this is but it's beautiful nevertheless i look at this something to depict those that are not in dharma probably uh and then this is just the highlight of everything i could just look at this picture and do my japa and get into dhyana this this signifies everything gita is about complete surrender to the lord's feet i was just flabbergasted i just looked at it and said wow beautiful 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 paintings now let's go to the verses themselves as i told you this is not to study gita this is not word by word meaning you have entire um sanskrit verse i'm going to go to if you look at this uh you have the sanskrit verse on the left and each line in a poetic form in english on the right if you're a fan of poetry and if you are giving it a light reading just to uh, enjoy the beauty of a poem in english that's what this is so we should not no one can study gita from this this is just to enjoy the beauty now i i saw some of these are so beautiful now uh, let's take अशोचानन्वशोचस्व प्रज्ञावादां स भाषसे न त्वेवाहं जातुनासं देहिनोस्मिन् यथा देहे कौमारं यवनञ्जरा तथा देहान्तरप्राप्तिः धीरस्तत्रं न मुह्यति मात्रा स्पर्शास्तु कौन्तेय सो that's why i wanted to mark some things before i because there are certain words i really really like vasamsi jirani is what i wanted to read vasamsi jirani yatha vihaya na navani grihnati naroparani tatha sharirani vihaya jiranani अन्यानि सन्याति नवानि देहि लेट्स लुक एट द ट्रांसलेशन फॉर दैट द पोएम ने बट एज वन व्हेन लेयस हिज वोन आउट रोब्स अवे एंड टेकिंग न्यू वन सेयस दीस विल आई वेयर टुडे सो पुटस बाय द स्पिरिट लाइटली इट्स गार्ब ऑफ फ्लैश एंड पासेस टू इनहेरिट अ रेसिडेंस अफ्रेश इजंट दिस ब्यूटीफुल इट्स 
I think it's uh, anyone that enjoys good English poetry would enjoy this. So, and then never the spirit was born, the spirit shall cease to be never. Never was time, it was not, end and beginning are dreams. Birthless and deathless and changeless remaineth the spirit forever. Death hath not touched it at all, dead though the house of it seems. I see I say to thee weapons reach not the life flame burns it not waters cannot overwhelm nor dry winds wither it impenetrable unentered unassailed unharmed untouched immortal all arriving stable sure is the nainam chindanti shastrani nainam dahati pavakah na chainam kledayanti apo na soshayati marutah so these verses and the beautiful 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 poetic way in which um, sir edwin arnold has put it is just a reader's paradise i thought uh, at first uh, the reason i bought it was it was beautiful to look at it was handmade and the the binding and the fabric and the uh, and the paintings of course are beautiful and this is a vintage version and i've seen the uh, sir edwin arnold another shorter version at home so i thought uh, let me not it came with this and the seller sent this and i haven't even read this entirely maybe it was a journal entry from the press that actually did this it's uh, it's just beautiful i i was first at, i was not sure if i really needed this but just to the you know beauty of it i bought it and now i am really enjoying this if you want a light reading if you just are taking it somewhere you know you're sitting in a park or just admiring nature you can take this with you and there are there are smaller versions of this in this size in terms of size and you can just read the poem it's just beautifully flowing as if, i mean geeta itself we know it's amritam it is just immortal bliss uh, for those that know sanskrit in the way where they can enjoy sanskrit they can feel the beauty of it even if you don't know sanskrit once you get into geeta you start to enjoy it and for some people like me who have studied and read the english literature and enjoyed it will equally enjoy this version for that reason i hope you like this version of my geeta and i will meet you soon in my next video